Frozen Story Princess Elsa and Princess Anna of Arendelle were best friends when they were tiny girls. Elsa had the power to create snow and ice, and Anna was one of the few individuals who knew about it. Elsa flooded an empty ballroom with snow one night to allow the sisters to play together. Elsa lost control during the game and inadvertently struck Anna with a blast of cold power. Anna was seriously injured. Her parents sought assistance from the old mountain trolls. Anna may be rescued, according to a wise old troll, because she had been hit in the head is rather than the heart. Anna forgot about that night as the years passed. To keep Elsa's talent a secret from the rest of the world, their parents built walls around the castle and never allowed anybody inside. When Elsa felt strong sentiments, though, the magic would flood out. Elsa decided to stop playing with Anna since she didn't want to injure her sister again. Anna felt terribly lonely as a result of this. The sisters didn't spend any time together after their parents went missing in a stormy sea. Years later, Elsa was ready to ascend to the throne of Arendelle. The castle gates were only unlocked on that day. The coronation event drew hundreds of people. Elsa tried hard to conceal her emotions and abilities. Anna danced with gorgeous Prince Hans from the Southern Isles at the banquet. He made her heart skip a beat. They chose to marry since they seemed to have everything in common. Elsa believed it was a poor idea for them to get married. Anna became enraged and began to argue. Elsa began to lose control, and ice began to shoot from her hands as she screamed. Everyone was taken aback by Elsa's appearance. Elsa's secret was now known to everyone in Arendelle. She became frantic and escaped to the mountain. Anna was in a bad mood. Elsa's abilities had unleashed a devastating winter storm in the midst of summer. She flew after Elsa, leaving Hans in command of the country. Anna's horse pushed her into the snow and bolted back to Arendelle as she galloped into the furious storm. Fortunately, she met Kristoff, an ice harvester, and Sven, his reindeer. They went out to find Elsa together. Anna and Kristoff encountered a stunning snow wonderland as they climbed the mountain. They came across Olaf, an enchanted snowman. Olaf was aware of Elsa's whereabouts and desired to assist them in resurrecting summer. In the meantime, Hans was assisting the citizens of Arendelle. Hans turned to the audience and begged for volunteers when Anna's horse returned to the castle without her. Back on the mountain, Olaf led Anna and Kristoff to a massive ice palace built by Elsa using her magical abilities. Even Kristoff was taken aback. Inside, Anna informed Elsa of Adrendel's awful storm. Elsa was frightened and unsure how to thaw the town, so she decided that Anna and Arendelle would be better off without her. Anna pleaded with Elsa to return home, but Elsa was too afraid of injuring more people. An ice wave of power erupted from Elsa's body and hit Anna in the chest as the sisters argued. Anna was not going anywhere without her sister. Elsa was well aware of her responsibilities. Anna and her friends were chased out of the palace by a gigantic snowman created by her powers. The buddies landed safely on the ground below. They had gotten away from the snowman, but Anna was concerned because her hair was going white as snow. Anna was delivered to the trolls by Kristoff. Only an act warned them that Anna would be frozen solid until Elsa's enchantment was reversed. A frozen heart could only be thawed by an act of pure love. Anna was certain that she adored Hans. Kristoff became concerned as she began to shiver. Elsa was assaulted by Hans and his warriors who had just arrived at the ice castle. They returned her to Arendelle and imprisoned her in the dungeon. Anna implored Hans to save her with a kiss when she arrived in Arendelle, 
but he refused because he had just pretended to love her. He intended to seize control of Arundel by eliminating Anna and Elsa. Hans abandoned Anna, who was shivering. Olaf discovered her and assisted her in warming up, but Anna was becoming increasingly feeble. When Olaf looked out the window, he noticed Kristoff speeding toward the palace. Anna had no choice but to kiss Kristoff. Elsa had fled the prison, but Hans was following closely after. Hans informed Elsa that her magical blast had struck Anna in the heart. Elsa slumped on the snow, her eyes closed. Everything she'd tried to protect her sister had come up short. Anna's devotion to Elsa had rescued them both, as well as the kingdom. Summer had returned to Arundel, and the two sisters were once again best friends. Elsa even created a snow cloud for Olaf to protect him from melting. The castle gates were wide open, and Elsa planned a surprise for Anna. Everything was back to as it should have been.